Hi there, this is Drutter, and I want to talk about calculating the melt value of various metal items. For many of my regular viewers, this will be a review. For the rest, I hope it's useful. Please consider favoriting the video in case you need to return later, and subscribing to my channel for more precious metal related information. This method works on any solid metal item, but not on items with other objects embedded, such as silver candlesticks with filler in the center, or jewelry with stones attached. All you need to know is the object's weight and its composition. The weight can be measured directly, such as with a small postal or kitchen scale, or with common items can be looked up in a reference book or online. The composition of a metal refers to the proportion of elements that make it up, since most metals are alloys of more than one element, and these elements can be separated out through industrial processes such as refining. Sometimes the composition of a metal is called its purity, as is the case with most bullion, like this bar here and the coins. Purity is expressed as a number, usually to three digits after the decimal, with perfect purity being one. Sterling silver, used widely in jewelry and cutlery, is 0.925 silver. This copper coin, minted when I was a small boy, is 0.980 copper, or 98% pure. The bar is said to be 999 fine, which means 99.9% .9 pure silver. Gold's purity is often referred to in terms of carats, with 24 being pure gold, and anything less than 24 being gold mixed with another metal like silver or copper. To convert the purity of gold from carats to a decimal, divide by 24. For example, 10 carat gold, like this ring, is 10 divided by 24, or 0.417 pure. Once you've determined your item fits the criteria, and you know the weight and composition, or purity, you're ready to calculate the current value of the metal it contains. First, make sure the weight is in the correct units. For silver and gold, we want troy ounces. For copper, use pounds. If you need to convert your weight into other units, one way is using the online conversion tool linked below. Next, find the metal's spot price, which is the going rate for that metal on the open market. Websites publish spot prices live 24-7, and at least a couple of them will be linked below. Now, just multiply the three together, and you have your value. Weight times purity times the spot price is the value of the item. We can calculate the value of this bar here right now as an easy example. So the weight is 5 troy ounces. It says right on there 5 troy ounces. And the purity it says right on there as well is 0.999 or almost completely pure silver. And the spot price of silver Today is 31.03. Move the camera a little bit. And if we work that out, we get an answer of 155 US dollars. This penny, on the other hand, weighs 3.24 grams, or 0 0.007 pounds. It's 0 0.980 pure copper and copper's spot price is $3.65 US per pound. This one cent coin's melt value is about two and a half cents right now. The gold ring is 10 karat gold, or 0.417, and is worth far less than the 200 I paid for it back in the 90s. The silver chain weighs a few ounces. It's 0.925 fine silver, also known as sterling silver. Silver's spot price today means the chain could be melted down to yield about 100 bucks worth of the metal. The 2 peso Mexican coin is 90% gold and has a melt value of $83 right now. I look forward to hearing the results of your own calculations or your feedback on this video. Also just some notes to mention that the plating on items such as the gold plating on this small silver bar uh, or silver plating on otherwise low-value cutlery is extremely thin and it can be generally ignored when calculating an item's melt value.
Also, please keep in mind this calculates only the minimum value of the item. It could be worth a lot more, say as a collectible, or for example this jewelry, this chain could be worn as a chain. It doesn't have to be melted down for the silver content. All we're doing here is calculating the metal value contained within an item. Also, some items have more than one metal in them, and if you're calculating only one metal, then the value of the other metals in that item would need to be calculated separately. For example, there's about two and a half cents worth of copper in this, but it also contains a little bit of zinc. Um, it's a negligible amount, but I'm just mentioning it to be complete here. Something else worth mentioning is that metal is money, and it is real money, and a store of value, and always has been something that the paper rectangles and steel discs that we use and trade back and forth today can't say. The information in this video is provided for educational purposes only, and as always, talk to you soon.